Hi there, this is Galen Martling, design team member with Unity Stamp Company. Today I have a, a, a double fold card for you. It's an interactive card and I'm mixing in stamping, die cutting, and a little watercolor and pattern paper with Unity products. And so for the stamping, I have a few sets. I have You Go Girl, also Be The Girl. Those are stamp sets. I have Botanical Dreams Paper Pack. And I have Say It Big stamp set and Say It Big coordinating die set for this. So now I'm using a scoring board and I'm going to show how I cut and score, or the measurements anyway, for this card. And I'll show you how to assemble it to get an easy interactive card. So this is, um, this is all the cutting and scoring measurements for this. And I just used a paper trimmer and a scoring board for the base and the different layers. Um, I cut regular cardstock and also the pattern paper to those measurements. And so I go ahead and I just score it and then I, I use a bone folder there to make sure that score line is nice and crisp on all of the folds there. So this will fit right into an A2 size envelope and Unity does sell envelopes now, which is wonderful and matching cardstock. So if you um, go ahead and once you have those pre-cut, you want to go ahead and on the left inside part of that card base, you want to put a piece of pattern paper or color solid cardstock maybe on that panel. So then on the top left outer fold, I'm going to put a little piece of that pattern paper as just a, a border there on the top of that. Now I'm going to make an inside left fold and I just use those measurements and fold it over and then I'm just going to set that aside for a second. I'm going to make sure that um, everything I have is going to fit there and it does. So there, there's your left fold line so it's going to fold inward to the outside there and so you just adhere that back portion of that inner little uh, mini card if you will you you put that in the center of that left panel and then you can see how it interacts you close the right and then you close the left i went ahead and stamped and i die cut that beautiful word using the say it big stamp set and also one of the dies then I went ahead and pre-watercolored this top stamped floral image and the sentiment and I watercolored the flowers with alt new watercolor. I went ahead and used foam tape to pop those up on that top small left fold panel. This is the Say It Big stamp set and I used the beautiful for the inside. And I stamped it with uh, My Favorite Things ink and pop in pink, I think it is. Then I use die cut. So I, I have already die cut that outer edge that trimmed out or that cut out the whole beautiful word there and a, and a big, see how it just, that's a little white piece of paper that I pre die cut and then adhered right into that middle fold. This is the other coordinating die that does sort of the inside beautiful. I love that. You can use it on its own. I decided to go ahead and layer the stamp and the die right over it. It looks like a sort of wonky letters. It's meant to be wonky looking, not exactly perfect, sort of abstract look. So I used Gina K Designs Connect glue to just add a little adhesive, not too much, just a little adhesive. I'm going to have three layers of white cardstock one on top of the other to make a thicker, more dimensional um, top beautiful layer. So I'm um, just making sure that it all lines up there. I have a tweezer to help move it while the glue is still wet. And then I go ahead and add another bit. I turn it over and add another bit of glue, just tiny dots to put it right over that stamped beautiful inside sentiment. And there you go, you see it's it's a uh, sort of wonky looking, a little abstract looking, and I just love that. And it's so pretty. It goes right with the envelope, goes inside there. When you open it, it's interactive, and you open it sort of like a book. 
first left then to the right and it's real pretty i love doing it i hope you give it a try i'd love to see what you how how you were inspired by this and thanks so much for watching please take a moment to subscribe to my youtube channel and have a great day